Yeah, here we have the little brother of the Postep 60. This is the Postep uh, 25, and uh, the 25 is uh, because it has a maximum 2.5 amp output. And the way it's configured is that you have uh, the input box here, the 10 pin connector, and it is the standard connector for Pokies. So uh, if you have the Pokey 57 CNC controller, then you just have a jumper cable from this to the equivalent on the on the Pokey controller board. You can of course also take the signals out and connect them to any other uh, stepper uh, controller of your wish. It's pretty uh, straightforward. There's no software settings or anything. Only thing you can set is the amperage. And here you have a jumper and right now it's set for 2.5 and each time you move it down you add another half uh, an amp here so getting all the way down here you are at 2.5 amp and the other thing you can set is the dip switch here which you can set for the micro stepping uh, right now it's set for one and then you can go up to uh, one over 32 by the uh, changing the dip switches here. You only need to use the first three, the number four uh, appears to be not used. Uh, you have some cooling here on the uh, on the driver and then basically you have uh, input power and uh, it can tolerate up to 30 volts as an input, uh, minus and plus, and then you have the output uh, for the two coils, one coil here and the second coil there. So that's all in it, and it's approximately five centimeters times five centimeters. Uh, so it's a fairly compact one. This is the Pokey's uh, Po Extension Bus Relay module. It comes with eight relays that all have the uh, both the normally open and the normally closed output available. You have a diode here on each of them showing whether it's active or not. And the way they are connected is via the uh, extension bus. So you will connect the wire here that comes with the board and back to any of the uh, pokey devices that has this port on it. So that would be all, for example, in the 57 series like Pokey's 57 CNC. If you want to have more relays or other things, you can then use the out and daisy chain to the next board and uh, you can have up to 10 board in a in a row so you have had plenty of uh, relays so apart from connecting the the, uh, the relay board back to the cnc driver you also need some power uh, on and this is where you put it and uh, you need basically to add power which is equivalent to what the relay rating is so for this board here you would add 12 volts uh, to the connector. One more option is uh, that you can actually feed the relays directly from a parallel port. So these inputs here is basically giving you the option to connect uh, a wire and then control the relay directly uh, from a, a signal here to the board. So uh, that's another option, but I think that's not what most people will be doing. If you go for using it as a parallel, uh, then this uh, integrated circuit here needs to be removed from its socket and then what you need to have here is uh, an input in the, in the range of 3.3 to 5 volts that will trigger the relays uh, over here. Yeah, and here we have a close-up of the uh, PO Extension Bus OC16 board. It is basically an expansion board that allows you some more outputs, open collector outputs from your Pokey's board. And the way it's connected is either via the uh, extension bus here, you have an input here that will then wire back to your uh, controller card via one of these uh, wires here, or alternatively uh, using uh, the extension bus here that uh, allows you to daisy chain uh, up to five of these boards. Then uh, you have the signal coming in this way and then the way you get the open collector uh, active here is that you connect uh, your power source up to 40 volts. It can be used here and uh, 40 milliamps. Uh, so you will add the plus and the ground and then you will basically get uh, the signals out all, on all the connectors here and you have again 
uh, a ground uh, and a plus uh, sitting down here. So you can then connect, uh, for example, um, a relay, lamps or LEDs, small DC motors and so on and so forth to, to this part over here. You can get a similar one uh, that looks very much the same where the terminal block is taken away and instead you have uh, 10 pin connectors sitting here. They would be uh, equivalent to this type here. And those are used in the Pokies world as connectors for stepper motor drivers. So you will actually have eight stepper motor driver outputs and uh, the connection will then go to one of the Pokey devices uh, and then that will allow you uh, to use one of the smaller Pokey devices as a full-fledged stepper controller with eight axes um, available. You can also get another version of this card. It's a uh, uh, called PO Extension Bus uh, OC 16 CNC. On that card, uh, these uh, blocks here would be filled with a 10-pin uh, connector equal to uh, this one here. And uh, they are the standard connector in Pokey world for a motor controller. So you can actually connect here up to eight motor uh, controllers to the device. And the way you do that is that you connect uh, this. The way you do that is connect this flat cable here to your Pokey device, and you need to go to the manual to see where to connect it uh, on the Pokey device. Maybe I'll just move up here so you can see it on the Pokey device. So in that manner, you can get a full-fledged CNC controller out of that. Uh, since I don't have the uh, CNC version of the card. I can show a picture here. Here it is. And you can see that the terminal block is not there, whereas it has been filled up with the eight the eight ten pin connectors here that allows a connection of up to eight uh, stepper drivers.